What's up guys? I hope you're doing well. I've got a really great new video for you today and it's going to be all about how to become a model. So the reason that I wanted to do this video is because I get a lot of questions from people that are brand new to getting into modeling, but today I just wanted to give a general sort of overview of things you can keep in mind um, when you are first starting out because modeling really isn't the kind of thing that you can just, you know, show up and be super successful at right away, at least not for most people. This is something that I have been doing for over a decade now, which is absolutely crazy. I started when I was 13 years old and I'm 26 now, so it has definitely been quite the journey with a lot of ups and downs, a lot of lessons learned. These are just some tips that I have kind of accumulated over that time and I hope they will be helpful to you guys. Now before we get started, I would just like to mention that I am all about following your dreams and doing what you want to do at any age, any size any kind of crazy unique quirks you got going on because time and time again there have been so many examples of people just breaking the status quo and doing something that nobody else has done before and being an inspiration to so many people those are usually the people that actually you know make a difference than the ones who just fit in so i think it's really important to not feel like you're limited just because you might not fit you know, the exact kind of mold that the industry has going on. But at the same time, especially when you're dealing with an industry that's as superficial as the modeling industry is, you do kind of have to be aware that there are certain kinds of expectations set in place and it's to figure out ways of how to work with them, not against them. So without any further ado, let's get started. The very first tip that I think it's really important to keep in mind when you're starting out is to decide what kind of model you want to be. The very first category of modeling is pretty much the first thing that most people think of when they think of what is a model and that's basically the girls that are very tall, 5 foot 10 and over at least, and very skinny, size 4 and under, and uh, that's usually the girls that you'll see on the runway and in like the campaigns for the really high-end sort of designers. These girls are also generally very very young. Most girls that are uh, going to be doing like runway and high-end editorials usually get scouted at like, you know, 13 to 15 years old, which I certainly don't agree with, even though that was my sort of scenario. But yeah, usually they'll get scouted very, very young so that they can peak at about, you know, 18 to 20 years old and then they can retire at 22 years old. So by those standards, I'm basically a grandmother, but that is the industry and uh, when it comes to that category, it is a very like youth driven scene overall and, uh, you know, very, very particular standards when it comes to height and weight. So the next category of modeling is definitely the most broad. It encompasses a whole bunch of different things and it's the category that I I guess I would fall into and that is commercial modeling. When I say commercial, I don't just mean the commercials that you see on TV with models and actors in it. Uh, commercial actually means more of a lifestyle type of model. Commercial models in general are going to be quite a bit shorter than your average like high fashion model. They're going to be about like five foot seven to five foot nine for girls and uh, they're not going to be quite as skinny as uh, high fashion models just because when you're working for brands like let's say like Colgate or Honda, uh, brands like that, they still of course want attractive people to sell their products but they want them to be slightly more relatable so they're not going to be like six feet tall and you know 110 pounds. So if you are somebody who is more like classic, pretty, the girl next door kind of look, this is generally probably going to be the best sort of market for you. Now the third category of modeling is definitely the sexier side of modeling, which is glamour. So glamour modeling also has a bit of a broad spectrum where obviously at one end you can have like the men's magazines like the Maxim and the Playboy, that type of modeling, or on the other end you could do things like just working for lingerie brands like Intimacy or you know Victoria's Secret, stuff like that. Now what clients are looking for in this category is a model that is generally a little bit older and by older I mean mid to late 20s <sighs> yeah and uh, she'll generally be you know a bit more filled out has some curve to her but is obviously like still quite fit and has the more like classic uh, sort of good looks 
So after you have decided what kind of category you think you fit best into and what kind of work you want to be doing, the second thing you have to decide is is this something that I want to pursue as a career? The reason that I think it's really important to ask this question is because if this is something that you are thinking of taking as a career instead of just a hobby, it's going to involve a whole bunch more work and a whole bunch more effort. So you really have to be clear on the amount of sacrifice that you're willing to put into this career, if you're willing to like relocate or at least travel for a certain amount of time because more often than not like if you're living in a small town as I was there's not going to be much work you're going to have to get yourself to a larger center to you know meet with the people who could make something happen for you in your career so if you are thinking of pursuing modeling full time just be aware that more often than not it's going to require a very big commitment of you know time of flexibility with your life and sometimes even with like financial investment because sometimes you know when you are just getting started you aren't making a lot of money from your particular jobs so how are you going to support yourself once you've figured all that out, it's time to move on to step number three, which is to decide if you want an agency or if you want to be freelance. Now, this question once again kind of depends on how serious you are about modeling, because if this is something that you want to do as a career, almost for sure you're going to have to get an agency and a good one at that because they are going to be the people who are going to negotiate your contracts to find you jobs to place you overseas keep in mind that even if you don't have an agency that doesn't mean that you can't be a model and even find jobs on your own there are resources available to you like model mayhem for example i've been using that for i think pretty much my whole career as a model. Uh, you can find like local castings in whatever city you're in and also be able to like, you know, shoot with um, local photographers to build your portfolio, especially if you're first starting out. But please, please, please keep in mind that when using these kinds of resources, you really have to be safe and to do your background work of, you know, looking up the people that you're going to be working with to make sure they are you know established professionals and ask for references if possible you know bring a friend or a family member with you to the shoot um, you know meet beforehand if that makes you feel better and you know really just be clear about what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do the compensation expected all of those kinds of things just be very diligent when choosing to work with anybody off those kinds of sites because there are definitely some creepers out there and you know you want to really be looking after yourself as well as possible now step number four is to build your portfolio so as I just mentioned sites like Model Mayhem are a fantastic resource to use if you are brand new to the industry and don't have any pictures. But more often than not, you can find, you know, photographers that are just starting out and are also looking to build their portfolios. So it really works well for both of you that you can, you know, both work together for free to get a really good image. Now, when it comes to approaching agencies to get signed, Yes, it is definitely very helpful to have a portfolio so they can have an idea of how you photograph. But at the same time, if you do have that raw potential that they're looking for, very many girls do get signed with no portfolio, just you know, very basic snapshots after a meet and greet with an agency. And what will happen is that the agency will set up test shoots for you to help you build your book. So the last and final step that I have for you guys today is to educate yourself. I think there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to modeling, but one of the biggest is probably the fact that it's just like so easy and effortless where, you know, some girls just get approached on the street and, you know, are asked if you want to be a model and next week they're in Paris walking in all the biggest shows, raking in thousands upon thousands of dollars and having this glamorous jet set sort of life that they can retire on by their early 20s. So while this is a fast paced business and overnight sensations can definitely happen, it is still an industry and a business first and foremost that you really have to educate yourself about and to practice and to, you know, gain practical experience in. When I was living in my small town of like 800 people where, you know, the fashion industry is obviously next to non-existent, 
I educated myself by watching like so much fashion television, by buying all the big fashion magazines and studying, you know, so many models and, you know, pretty much knowing them all on a first name basis as with like designers, because as a model, you're not just, you know, working on your own craft, you're collaborating with other people in the industry. So with makeup artists and stylists and designers and photographers, like you have to study the fashion industry on a whole because you are just one piece of a very big puzzle. Brands pay so much money to make their marketing campaigns happen and the model is such an integral part of that. So when you show up to set, you really have to be a professional and you have to know what you're doing. That means getting practical experience as well and doing as many shoots as possible, collaborating with different people so you can really begin to like study yourself and you know how you look on camera and how you can get you know different emotions and poses across. It means working on your walk if you're going to be a runway model and you know maybe taking acting classes if you're going to be in commercials. Now the last resource that I'd like to share with you guys is a site that I absolutely love and that is The Business Model and I will link that down below uh, just because it's a fantastic resource for every model whether you're just starting out or already established but basically there's a whole bunch of articles on there about you know how to get into the industry, how to look after yourself when you're in the industry and also a lot of like helpful tips and articles about like international contracts yeah it's basically an amazing resource for models of all stages in their career to really help you step up your game so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful in kind of maybe clearing some things up for you if you are just thinking about possibly getting into the industry in my case it has definitely been one of the best things that ever happened to me because it really just like opened up my worldview it gave me opportunities that you know I didn't even think were possible and introduced me to so many incredible people so I think that as long as you can really keep a good head on your shoulders and have a strong sense of self and you know not let the negative parts of the industry really get you down it's an amazing amazing opportunity so yeah I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you are brand new to my channel I do put out a video every single week so if you did enjoy this one please subscribe down below and as always I hope you guys are having a spectacular day keeping your own kind of beautiful and I will see you soon bye guys